How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Some people say you are not ready for what's about to happen for Bitcoin. Uh, we have the leader of a big company saying that people are not ready for it. We have some strong inflows today for Bitcoin ETFs, at least so far. And we have a reminder why we need Bitcoin. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. There is going to be a link to Marjex underneath the video. I know some people don't want to try out leverage trading, but in case you do, there is a link that gives you a nice deposit bonus. I think this can be used along with a few other things to really help you in this next bull run. Can it can help you make a lot of money. So definitely check this out underneath the video. Of course, always trade responsibly. Know what you're doing. I've made a handful of videos on how to trade leverage uh, on this channel. So definitely check those out. Now, there's also going to be a link to CoinW as well underneath the video where you can just buy spot cryptocurrencies and you can also leverage trade there. They also give you access to a trading group that can give you information on what's happening in the market. It's super helpful even if you don't leverage trade, but you have to sign up for CoinW to get into that group. Now, the federal government will pay for the entire cost of restructuring the bridge that went down today. This is interesting. You know, some people were talking about this, the Baltimore bridge collapse. Fascinating. Uh, apparently, the government, which is, you know, essentially us, we're funding the government, uh, citizens, we're paying for <laughs> the bridge to get revamped uh, because... Apparently, the insurance companies can't do it. Apparently, it's not uh, the person that was driving the vessel. It's taxpayers. Uh, it's just unbelievable. That's why we need Bitcoin because stupid stuff like this continues to happen. And the government loves to say that they're going to spend your dollars. Nila stock. Uh, this is one that we covered yesterday. I said that, well, I covered what happened. Basically, they said that they would be acquiring up to 25,000 Bitcoin. Now, I said at the time... This is quite odd because it was a very small company. Depending on where you look at, like some places said it was a million. Some said it was like 10 million. But anyways, uh, raising enough money to buy $2 billion worth of Bitcoin, I said it was kind of interesting. I don't think that's really going to happen. But ne uh, Neelam went up 1,600% today. Now, I think this is a smart playbook for companies to do this in the future. We'll see if this actually happens. If, if you don't remember this, this is the gold miner that everyone was talking about last night. Apparently, the CEO of the company uh, said that he was going to resign because he was not given the details of the transaction or the announcement beforehand from the company. He said, uh, in his own words, it's a classic pump and dump. So <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, I'm I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but obviously there will be some companies that want to secure some more debt to buy Bitcoin. The MicroStrategy playbook, I think that does make sense and more companies will do it. Now let's cover some of the companies buying Bitcoin here today. So volume today for the ETFs, IBIT 1.75 billion, GBTC 659 million, FBTC 590 million, ARTB 173 million, BITB 84 million. So we just have a few of the ETFs coming in so far, but they're looking really strong. And I want to make this video before all of them are in because I'm going to some family stuff. Uh, but I wanted to give you an update because Arc B had 73.6 million. That's impressive. 73.6 million Bitcoin uh, or million dollars worth of Bitcoin was bought today. This is over 100% of the new daily supply of the mined uh, Bitcoin today. EZBC also had a strong day with $26 million in volume. So we're already at 100 million, uh, right around 100 million in inflows. And look at this, IBIT had a very strong day. FBTC was right below GBTC. Uh, and I, I guess I should clarify this. IBIT's volume was a little bit lower than typical, but still much stronger than GBTC. That's what I mean by a strong day. It was more than double that of GBTC in terms of volume. So we'll have to see how this shakes out, like uh, what the actual inflows were. But it seems like, knock on wood, we're going to see another inflow day. And it, it looks like it's going to be more substantial than yesterday. It looks like it's going to be a large inflow at this point. Wisdom Tree also gained approval to purchase spot Bitcoin ETFs for their $206 million and $117 million fund. Uh, so they are pretty small funds, honestly, when you compare them to like what BlackRock is uh, going to put Bitcoin in. We, we've looked at that, a $16 billion fund, a 
like a $36 billion fund. So we're talking about one one hundredth the size. But these are still some funds are going to buy some Bitcoin. So we, we can't complain, right? There are going to be more and more funds like this. There are going to be too many to count. There are going to be probably hundreds and hundreds of funds that buy Bitcoin uh, and allocate towards Bitcoin in the future. So it's important to even highlight the little things like this because even just, you know, a 5% allocation can buy more Bitcoin off of the market. And I just published a, almost an hour long video about Michael Saylor, it, this speech. If you haven't seen that, I'll put it on the end screen, but it's a really good speech from Michael Saylor giving uh, some insights that he's never given before, talking about toxicity, and how Bitcoin is needed for everyone, no matter who you are. If you're an institution, if you're a religious entity, if you're an idiot, if you're a genius, it, no matter who you are or what entity you are, you need Bitcoin. So be on the lookout for that on the end screen. But we did get the BitGo CEO to talk about Bitcoin here today. So basically, if you're not ready for 20% drops, then you're not ready for 600% increases. And he talks a little bit more too. I would play it for you, but uh, I don't want to play the full clip. He does talk about how we're seeing some smaller entities buy right now, and we're seeing more and more large companies start to move towards approval of selling these these ETF products. But we're not there yet. A lot of these have to pass compliance, just like we've said before. Uh, a lot of these companies have to pass compliance. And they're probably a good company to listen to. They're a digital asset trust company and security company headquartered in Palo Alto. So yeah, they're surrounded by people that are in cryptocurrency, in tech. They've been around for a long time. Mike has been around since 2013 as CEO of the company. But he does say, yeah, if you can't handle this volatility, you're not ready for these kinds of massive increases we're going to see moving forward. And as I said, there's still a lot of people that haven't started selling these ETF products. This is only going to get crazier from here. So like, if you're having a hard time seeing your portfolio value go up and down, just get ready because you haven't seen anything yet. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I'm going to keep it nice and short here today because, like I said, I am heading to a family event. But it is interesting to see just more and more companies trying to adopt Bitcoin, trying to buy Bitcoin. The ETFs continuing to buy. Uh, the rule book has really changed, right? The, the goal of the game is to buy as much Bitcoin as possible, as quickly as possible. So a lot of entities are probably uh, scrambling behind the scenes to be able to get compliance passed, and to be able to buy into this asset. Let me know your thoughts underneath the video, though. As I said, uh, too, I've published a lot of videos today. The last one that I want you to take a look at is the Michael Saylor video, but I published a lot of other videos, too, because I woke up at 4 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. because the bull market's on, baby. Need to get some work done. There's so much going on. Make sure you don't tune out. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.